something really, really big is going to be transforming within you in the next three weeks. And it's this new, God, it's like you are moving so quickly towards really just embodying and aligning with this I am. They did this, I'm butchering this study, this the study of like all the information that like general humanity collected from the Sumerian time to the Sumerian times to the 1900s. And it was like, you know, there was kind of a general knowledge, like this is how we harvest, this is how we build a thing, this is how we make a wheel, this is how we're gonna make a fire. There's this information that kind of like humanity all kind of collectively is down with. So there was that level of information. Then from like the industrial revolution happened, the 1900s happened, went to 1950s and we doubled down on all that information. So like all the information in 6,000 years then was twice that much in just 50 years. And then from 1950s to 1980s, it doubled down again and it keeps like turning in on itself and rapidly speeding up. So there's this thing you've been working towards for a few years and you it was like a little bit dinosaur time it was a little bit we're always almost there like we're always almost there and then now in the last few months like six to seven months there's this like rapid kind of changing every month you're aligning more with like claiming the i am like nope i am this freaking version i am i am them i am them i am this freaking thing so you're getting deeper in just like realizing that it was your freaking choice this whole time to claim who you are and then all of a sudden reality is starting to like bend and mold and shift to the new freaking version that you're now identifying with that you've been trying to become for years and now somehow even though you knew act as if you couldn't like consciously believe you were that thing and whatever's happened to you in the last few months, you're finally freaking realizing it. And it's because you're realizing how valuable you are. You're realizing there's this new relationship with your worth. It, it is the found freaking dation is you getting into this like understanding about how valuable you are. The other message is that you um, when you start having kind of like angst or maybe you would identify that as fear, there's something about this new upgrade, this new kind of, it's all newness. It's all so new that your body, not only is it going through all these changes, but it's sensing the unknown. So what does is, what is your body do? It has a certain kind of reaction energetically, chemically to unknown, which in the olden days, you identified as like, this doesn't feel right, this feels like fear. And you're being asked to start knowing that this feeling, this heightened feeling that is like, Ugh, change your story about this man, because this is actually, a, a premonition, a pre kind of, a pre feeling to something auspicious is happening for you. But because it's the unknown, your body only has ever reacted to the unknown as like, a, it kind of feels like anxiety. Um, so you, it's really important for you to start changing the story around those emotions that are like heightened and a little like this doesn't feel awesome that it is awesome because it just means that it's your your body is preparing you like something is coming for you and in the next three weeks i think you are shifting so freaking hard into this more um I don't know. I just feel like the next three weeks, there's something like even more like, I am, I freaking am. Like owning it on, on like, here we go again. Like just, we're doubling down on all these, like what it took you like 
four to seven years and then in the last six to seven months you like double down on that and now like in the weeks you're just like Bruh. so that's awesome i want to connect to oh hey friends i'm car elizabeth the author illustrator and creator of animal apothecary sold everywhere internationally on amazon in multiple languages um we're also going to be using the body tech deck that I'm still in creation, I'm still creating it. So just sign up for my email list, all the stuff below, um, if you wanna be notified when it drops. The other thing before we get into the reading is that my next workshop, Fall Equinox Eve, September 21st, virtual and in person is, oh my God, it's called I Am The Power. We are colliding like major freaking tiger power medicine with body tech movements, with sound, with voice, with we are just like if you haven't been to one of my workshops yet, I can guarantee freaking to you. I can guarantee it's like nothing you've ever done before. And that's what we're here for because you've done all those things before. You've done all that kind of whatever that was. We're not here for whatever that was. You are new and you need a new way to connect to this deeper power in yourself because that is what's happening in this shift for you. This is what the shift is all about. It's about you aligning with your power. And what does that mean? It's your power over your thoughts. It's your power over your freaking emotions. Because when you get your thoughts to serve you, that's when you get to manifest whatever the heck you want in this life. Because if all your thoughts are dictating and like kind of this precursor to your outside reality and your thoughts are in the dungeon, your thoughts are in the like, weird garbage oasis like and then your life doesn't seem that great hmm, i wonder why so when you get your thoughts to work for you when you get to have dominion and sovereignty over your freaking thoughts and emotions by the way and emotions then you're going to start seeing your life change in profound freaking ways and i feel like the foundation for you is your self freaking worth one that it's like the foundation, like you gotta love yourself, man. You gotta see that you are a gift, that you were created out of love, that life created you because it loved you, that you are so freaking valuable. And, and in that, then we wanna get you to like, understand how freaking powerful you are and teaching you tools and methods to really get in charge of your thoughts while aligning with freaking tiger medicine, with falcon medicine, with horse medicine, with body technology, with voice freaking medicine. So you should definitely come to one of my workshops. The tickets for this um, are probably going live next week. So just sign up for my email list on my website at caraelizabethspeaks.com and then you'll get notified for all the information for the freaking workshop because it will be dope and um we're we're here to get into our power and create our most amazing lives and uplift ourselves and uplift humanity and inadvertently creating world peace okay so um what is this jump we're in the middle of this um this quant whatever quantum jumps identity shift whatever it's all about your you're straightening it's like anything that's like the blocks of like whatever was not the real you they're coming out you're getting straighter into who you freaking are so what this jump what this next couple weeks is i'm excited for is wants to share with us just uh any any guidance and wisdom and then in your body if you could just jump jump like, I need you to jump, jump into the, and into a power pose, right? So it's like, arms out, like, jump. You can squat jump too. Um, so what our body wants to share with us about this jump, and then just like, hang out is the self-worth card, so that's gonna go there. Okay, um, what our power wants to share with us. Okay, power pose. what our body's power, the technology of our, our body 
and our power one is share. I feel like there's two here. And then I want you to say out loud what you're manifesting as if like, just be the I am. Just freaking claim who you are. Say it. Just like, yep, give it to me. Keep saying it. Say all the freaking I am's. How powerful you are. How beautiful you are. How uplifting you are. How abundant you are. Say the thing you're manifesting. You've manifested it. It's done. All right. Let me also do this. But I'm going to think it. I need you to say it out loud, though. for this one okay and what our body wants to share with us about the I am what we are manifesting it's already done we've already done it okay amazing okay so our jump it's already freaking in you. You already are the thing. So we have the Cowardly Lion goes on this mission to Emerald City to get the badge of honor of courage. The irony was he had, it's like he thought getting that outside thing would then get like show that he had courage, but it was the journey. He had courage the whole freaking time on that terrifying yellow brick road pathway. So you already once you demonstrate that you already are the thing which is become the prayer answer your own freaking prayer you are the answer to your prayer and i think there's all kinds of ways of prayer right there's so many different ways of prayers there's this dialogue and love and conversation with life or weeping to life asking for help or whatever and then there's this other thing there's you know in the realm of infinite possibilities of how we pray there's your answered prayer inside of you and you being like okay i just need to claim that i am that thing i just need to trust that even though i don't know how or when i can say i am this i am this and i'm claiming it and i'm knowing it and that is the prayer that i'm answering my own freaking prayer by becoming the prayer answered because it's in you it's already freaking in you and then i see the emerald which you know there's this whole history of the 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 deepest most beautiful green emerald that we usually see in colombia and it is it outshines the green is greener than any other emerald in the whole entire world and the history you know way back I don't know, millions of years ago, I'm not even sure, when um, the Andes Mountains were coming into form and there would be these, these crazy water shoots that would be going through the earth and bursting out of the earth and then the, the water would disperse into the air and then whatever. But some of these water shoots would hit this flat rock slate thing, right? Like stopping it from where it was going leading it into another direction, right? The water would then move another way and then just create this pool of water somewhere else that then had all the freaking minerals to create the greenest emeralds in the freaking world. So there is something about any kind of, in this, you know, in the last um, year or so, if there has been redirection with you, it is only for creating the best of you the best of that you know whether it is the project you're working on or the relationship you're seeking or whatever the freak it is it is only to and especially if you've had to deal with any level of rejection that was very significant for you in the last i don't know how long whatever whatever it is for you it was to lead you to this most brilliant version of yourself that that thing couldn't do for you. So it was a blessing, okay, my friend? And then what do we have? And this was just laying up at the, you know, when I was shuffling the cards and this was just like on top laying face up. So it's like, okay, then we're pulling this. So the jump is saying, like I said in the beginning, your freaking foundation is your self-worth and your self-value. And if you don't know how to do that, then you're gonna wanna check out my self-worth explosion workshop. 
it's already aired, but you can get it um, and watch it on rerun forever just in the workshop section. I'll put all the jazz below. But this for me was the catalyst of transforming so much in the last six months for me. I, I mean, as much as I've been doing it and creating, you know, I really, my, I didn't even know how much I didn't even know how much I didn't even know about how like I did not value myself on in, in in the way that I am now beginning to value myself and seeing that come in in the most beautiful ways in my life. It is so beautiful and it is just because I am now understanding that when I value myself, then money comes different, then relationships come different, then work comes different, then sales come different. It all comes differently. So this is this is a big freaking foundation, my friend. Um, what your power wants to share with you. So one of the body tech cards, your light is being activated. And I think this goes back to what I was saying. So this is all about light triggers, that your triggers, or when I when I spoke about, there's some kind of like feeling like a bit uneasy or angst or like, what is next? Or like something feels, there's these moments where there's like this heightened kind of blah, that this one is this precursor to something auspicious is gonna happen. But then to go down to the dirty basics of this card, that your triggers are so powerful right now because you are shifting into this mo more empowered version of yourself who's getting this idea of like how much your thoughts are affecting everything. So when there's a trigger happening, not only are you able to kind of be like, oh right, like old story time, you're not getting so afflicted by it. It's not taking you down like it used to. It's more like a sharp kind of moment where you understand it on a much higher level and let it kind of like let the emotion process through you because it is a light trigger because your triggers are just showing you where there's something hiding aspects of your light, right? You're this powerful light being and like this, it's almost like when you can remove those blocks, it it, soup, it does something with like the strands of your DNA to get like activated and turn on things within you that have been lying dormant that are like superhuman powers. So get excited about triggers, get excited about feeling angst because you're, and like if you haven't now, no, now make the freaking choice. Like this is not about, mm, yeah, I'm just, this is some vague future thing. No, this is actually about you having this duality of control and then suspending any control and surrendering to allowing everything to happen. But like this, this deep freaking power over the story you're giving everything because that's all it is. It's your reality. What is the story that you're telling yourself about this trigger? It, make it positive, make it freaking positive. Um, and your power, just to reaffirm, focus on the bigger freaking picture. You're a leader, you're a visionary, you're a light bringer, you're here to share some kind of gift. And if you're not focusing on that elevated thing, if you're not focusing on what is giving light, if you're not focusing on what is giving service, if you're not focusing on the fact that you are this freaking powerful creature who can get what it wants, then what are you focusing on? So focus on the bigger picture. I choose who I am. So this is all about, it's your choice. It is your freaking choice. You get to be whoever you wanna be. Do you, do you wanna be um, that successful thing? It's about, then answer your own prayer. Like, I know there's an intensity coming from me, but it's like, it is a, this wake up call, like own it. You are that, you are anything that you wanna be. 
And then what you're, what you're manifesting is, this is one of the most auspicious cards. There's a couple in Animal Apothecary. Actions lead to success. So this is something about as long as you don't give up, as long as you keep taking action toward this thing, then you are being led and guided to this thing. And you're also being asked, like, there's this, um, there, you have something around you that is helping facilitate this whole thing. And it is so important for you to stay with a pure heart in this, that your your intentions, I mean, like, let's be real. There's so much of our ego is driving all of this. And like, you know, that's great. Thank you. Thank you, ego. Thank you. But at the core, core, core of the why you want this thing, you're being asked, like, it needs to be pure. There needs to be a pure intention behind this. And that in that, that these guides around you, it's almost like they work with pure intention. So they are like, as long as you take action, like we're here to get you to, to success. It's done. As long as you take action and do it, just do the thing. Just do the thing, do the thing, don't see success, but you do it again. Do the thing again and you don't see, see success, but you do it again. And you do it again 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 and you do it again. And eventually the whole realm of how possibilities work out is that as, it's eventually you're going to do it. It's going to happen. Um, so just don't give up if you don't see immediate results because this card is about not looking for immediate reward. It is about a wiser perspective, not an egoic, like, I need to know, I need to get instant gratification, I need to get outside validation right now. You know, it's like, I've never read The Art of War, but it seems to me that it is coming from a very wise, logistical, like, headspace, as instead of, like, maybe making immature, quick, you know, moves made on emotion, you can allow a couple things to not, like you allow things, what is it like lose the battle but win the war? Like you can allow some things to to not have such awesome immediate, immediate um, reaction, but it's because you're, um, creating a foundation for this way bigger freaking success, like a rooted success that is going to stabilize you for the rest of your life. And like, I think there's been something you've been working toward where you're looking for that momentum. You're looking and like, you have maybe had these moments of just getting totally discouraged because you were not seeing immediate success, but it's like, whatever you do, do not give up because this thing that you've been hoping and dreaming and working towards is, 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 has been rooting. Okay. So when it starts to come up, a hurricane can't even knock this thing down that you've created. Whereas if you got the immediate success and you didn't have that wisdom to back it up, a wind comes and that tree just flops right over because it didn't root. So there's something about all the timing and like if you have been waiting for quite, quite some time while you've been taking action but it's not seeing, that's fine. It just means longer lasting success. It's like the, the, the duality of it. Um, and you're, the thing that you're working towards manifesting is about this choice, constant choice. Who am I going to be? Who am I going to be? Something happens you don't like. Am I going to show up as this version with my head down and, oh, I'm a victim? Or I'm going to show up with my, I'm going to change my posture. The most amazing thing you can do in any situation that sucks, lift your head up. And, and when you lift your head up, knowing that, okay, I'm changing my posture, it's warrior, it's warrior mode now. Like, yeah, I don't know how to deal with this, but I'm gonna, let's freaking go. Like I got, I can do this. I can get through this. So choose that confidence.
and then immense growth. You're going through such a change and it is weaving some kind of gold. You're just being asked like, please just be patient. Just be freaking patient. Vulture says, old, there's something dying. Old self is dying. Like we're, Vulture doesn't come and wait for weeks. It It's like, sometimes it's just hours. Like there is something really about to be done with you, old self, like, and that's why I'm saying this three, the next three weeks, there's some kind of like something profound. Um, and just overall message for you guys, tame and attain. Exactly. This is all about having dominion over your thoughts, right? Like the wild horse is your thoughts, but when you can tame it and you can ride it, it wants to serve you and you have this awesome relationship and it gets you to where you want to go so much quicker. So this just is all about power over your thoughts. Again, you got to come to my workshop virtual and live. Like this is what we're doing. We're riding our thoughts. We're, we're no longer letting our thoughts master us. And we're doing it in a really bizarre, interesting, different kind of way that is going to be so empowering. And, and it really is about getting you to connect to you in, in just, um, in a way that you haven't done before. So I can't wait to see you there. Again, sign up in the email list. And as always, world freaking peace forever, because if you are not for world peace, what are you here for? Let's love.